So today's video is going to be a what to wear to graduation. The thing I wanted to mention was that I did a massive post about this on my website last night. So if you're someone who prefers to read things rather than watch and listen, I'll have a link down below as well to that post so you can actually read everything in more detail about what I recommend for your graduation. So I'll get right into the video because there's a lot I want to cover. Obviously you can wear whatever you like to your graduation. I'm not saying that you cannot wear certain things or that you must wear the things or the dresses that I'm suggesting. You can wear absolutely anything that you want but this is kind of more of a guide to those of you who don't know because I myself was incredibly stressed out last year when it was my turn for graduation and I had absolutely no idea what to wear so I figured I'd make this video today for those of you who are in the same position. So at your graduation ceremony you want to appear as someone who is well put together, who is successful, who is happy to be there and someone who the ceremony is based upon. So you want to dress that way and you want to create that image about yourself. So I've come up with four different categories which you guys can follow from. Again, obviously you can wear whatever you like, but these are just some suggestions. I'll also mention quickly that all of the outfits that I'll be suggesting to you guys is from showpo.com. If you're an avid viewer of mine, you know that I love showpo. I've worked for them for many years and I absolutely love their website. The reason why I'm picking to feature them, I guess, in this video is because they have of free express delivery so if you're someone like me who left your outfit to the very last minute this website you can order from and you get it the next day so I think it's perfect for those of you who are last minute people like me also it's really great quality I know the quality is great the pricing is great so I figured I would recommend them in this video but anyways on to the categories So first up we have the Simply Whites and these are just plain white dresses. Now white dresses are great because they are very reserved and simple but they still look really nice and dressy and it also adds a really nice feminine touch as well. Now whites in particular photograph really nicely against the black gown that you're wearing and it also adds a nice kind of pop of contrast so I think they're a really easy way to go if you're someone who doesn't have much confidence in picking clothes or if you're not too sure what to do in terms of colour or anything white is a good way to go. Next up we have your basic blacks and this is probably the safest option out of all of them. So again if you're someone who doesn't know what to choose this is probably the safest option out of all. So basic blacks are essentially just black outfits and these are really really simple to wear. They're kind of an effortless timeless option that people can go with. And the best thing about black is that it looks professional, it looks clean and tidy, it's very very easy to wear so it's kind of like a foolproof option. I'll also add that it's a good time to explore with textures and patterns with blacks because it's nice to add a little a bit of dimension against the academic gown. So for example you can get a black dress that has some ruching detail somewhere or some mesh panels or whatever. It just kind of adds a little bit of dimension to all of the black. But yeah black's probably the easiest one to go with. It's also probably the easiest to shop for because it's kind of absolutely everywhere all the time. Next we have Pretty in Patterns and this one was my favourite one, it's actually the one that I chose for my graduation. I think patterns are a really great way to show your personality without being too show offy. So with these patterns you want to pick something that you like. So if you're someone who likes florals, pick something floral or if you like something with a bit more structure you can go with something with a grid pattern. Patterns are really a lot of fun and you can do a lot with them and I think it's a great time, especially at your graduation, to kind of express who you are to a big audience and say this is me, this is what I'm about. So I love patterns personally, I think they look great. The only thing you don't want to do with patterns is go with something that's too loud or too flashy. So something that's neon or something that clashes or anything like that. You just want to kind of keep it nice and simple but still have a bit of a statement there. And then finally we have sultry skirts and these are for those of you who don't like wearing dresses. I personally don't really love wearing dresses, I feel like they're a bit restricting so sometimes I like to opt for a skirt because then it's in two pieces and it's a little bit more flexible. So with skirts typically the best way to go is with an A-line skirt because it's a lot more flattering, it's not too form fitting and look too tight and cheap. It's pretty much the easiest way to go so I'd recommend an A-line one and you can go with any colour or pattern really. So those are my recommendations in terms of your outfits. So obviously you can pick 
pick what best suits your personality. If you're someone who's really laid back and reserved, you can go with the black or whites, or if you're someone like me who likes to explore with different patterns and textures, you can go with a pattern one. You can pretty much go with anything that you like, but there are some simple little do's and don'ts that I'm going to mention now that you should try and follow just so that you know you're dressed appropriately and you look good and you're perfect for the occasion. So to cover some do's, make sure that you're comfortable in what you're wearing. You don't want to pick something that you're not comfortable with in terms of if it's a really short dress and you don't like your legs, there's no point in wearing that because you're not happy wearing it. Or if you're someone like me who has not a whole lot of chest, you don't want to wear a deep set one because it's not something that you're comfortable with. You want to feel good throughout the day. You don't want to be self-conscious or feel like you have to cover up or do anything with it at all. You want to feel great in what you wear and what you pick. Another do on my list is to spend your money where it's worth and in particular it's your outfit. So what I mean by that is don't go and spend $20 on a dress and expect it to be great. I mean on the rare occasion you can find dresses that are cheap and great but what I mean by that is make sure that you invest in a nice quality dress. You don't want to go with something that's transparent and see-through or something that's all crooked or ill-made or just something that doesn't look good. You want to spend enough money so that it's a nice quality dress that you look great and well put together. Another really important do, and this is something that I recommend for everyone, is to wear your outfit before the day. Now that kind of sounds like a cardinal sin because a lot of people will say, well, what if you mess it up or what if you rip it or something? But the reason why I'm telling you to wear it before the day is because you want to wear it around your house. So you want to put it on, you want to walk around your house, you want to sit down, you want to climb some stairs, you want to do everything that you're going to do on your graduation day. Now the reason for this is because this is where you can really tell where the dress might be having issues. So for example, when you're sitting down, the waist might get too tight or when you're walking around, your shoes may be killing you or when you're walking up and down stairs, your shoes might not be stable enough. So at home, you really want to test these things out and see if there are going to be any problems for on the day. Another recommendation I have is to take photos wearing it. So the way we look at things in the mirror is different to the way they actually look in person. And the best way to assess this is by taking a photo. So for example, with my dress in the mirror, it looked absolutely great and perfect. But when I took a photo, I noticed the back of it had a little bit of a lopsided hem. It just sat a little bit funny. So so if I didn't take that photo, then everyone would have seen it essentially. So then I was able to go and get it fixed obviously, and it was perfect for the day. So take some photos of different angles of the dress of you wearing it. You may be able to spot that there's a loose string or whatever is wrong with the dress. This way it kind of stops things from happening on the day. And finally, enjoy your time. Not everything is about the dress that you're wearing, mostly it's about your success and your achievements because you've probably worked your butt off for so many years for this degree or this certificate or whatever it is. So enjoy the day. Don't worry too much about what you're wearing. Obviously feel comfortable and love what you're wearing, but also love the reason why you're there. Now of course I've covered a whole bunch of do's, but now I'm going to look at the don'ts and these are some pretty significant ones, so listen closely. Don't wear midriffs in two pieces. Now, I know a lot of them are really quite stylish and pretty. I'm also talking about the ones that are super separated at the waist so that you have like this much of your rib cage or stomach showing. Now I remember a girl wearing this at our graduation. Everyone looked at her. She didn't fit in. It didn't look nice and that's because it's far too casual for this kind of event. You want to come off as someone who is mature and well-rounded and whatnot, so you don't really want to be showing that kind of skin to an event like this. Along with the note of showing skin, you don't want to have anything that has a super plunging neckline, and I mean the ones that come down to about here, so that you show a lot of cleavage. Obviously, you don't want to be showing your chest too much at this ceremony. I mean, there's going to be a lot of academics, a lot of leaders, a lot of community people in there, so you want to come off as respectful to them, and you don't want to be showing off too much of your skin. Now, onto the theme of what I'm wearing, you don't want to go with strapless dresses or tops. Now obviously you can if you want to, if it's something that you're comfortable or you've already chosen, definitely still wear it. I'm only saying this as a don't because the academic gown is super heavy. It's really, really heavy and it tends to pull things down if you know what I mean. You don't want to spend the whole ceremony fixing your top and adjusting yourself, so just be aware that if you do go with these, just be careful in how your top is presenting and how it's sitting because you probably will get photos on stage, you'll be in front of everyone, so make sure you're covered. Another don't is to go with super unstable or high or slippery high heels. Now I think this is pretty obvious and it doesn't need much explanation but chances are you're probably gonna have to climb up some stairs to get onto a stage to receive your award. And I remember at least three girls almost tripping up the stairs because their heels were too skinny, too slippery and just unstable and it really is an awkward situation and it stands out like a sore thumb so make sure you're going with shoes that are comfortable that you can easily walk in up and down stairs and around on slippery 
surfaces. So just make sure that your shoes are appropriate and that you can wear them properly. Another don't on my list is to not spend too much on a clutch or a bag. Obviously a nice bag or clutch with your outfit will look really nice but for the majority of the ceremony you won't be holding it. You probably won't even be holding it when you go on stage. Realistically you're only going to be holding it outside of the event. So kind of save your money here and probably put more money into the dress that you're wearing rather than the accessories because you're not really going to be using them. And finally don't forget to smile when on stage. Now I know this is a nerve-wracking event and there's a lot of people watching you but there's nothing worse than seeing someone go on stage and they're like this. It's incredibly awkward, I know, but just give a smile when you're on stage because odds are you're probably being video recorded by heaps of families, there's heaps of people watching you, so at least make it look like you're enjoying yourself, so smile. But yeah, that's everything for my advice on what to wear to graduation. Again, you can wear whatever you like. These are just kind of helpful hints and tips on what to wear in case you have absolutely no idea on what to wear. Again, if you'd rather read all this in more detail, I'll have it on my website, which is linked down below. But yeah, that's everything for today's video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing what to wear to your graduation. Congratulations on this amazing achievement and be proud of yourself and enjoy your day. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.